plus $100,000 in cars stolen in minutes. It's a big setback because that's like around $100,000 in cars. Thieves target a family-owned business and security cameras capture the whole thing. It tops our news tonight at 11. Right now, police are searching for the thieves who got away with seven cars at a dealership on Detroit's west side. Yeah, the video recorded them in the act. They hop in a car, ram it through the garage door, and drive off. Jamar Terry live tonight with the owners who are kind of shocked that this happened. Yes, yeah, Steve, it's not every day that thieves are bold enough and or successful enough to steal seven cars all locked away in the garage but somehow they managed to pull this one off. And tonight, Detroit police, they are looking for the thieves involved in this heist. There's a huge mystery to solve at Dye Mixed Use Auto Lots on Detroit's west side. And it all centers around what happened to this garage door. They came with the pickup. They hit the garage door right here. Take a look. Thieves damaged the door enough to pry their way inside. And once on the other side, watch as four guys that looked like kids jumped into various vehicles, then drove the cars through the same door. And then they just ran straight through to make sure that it got destroyed so they could take all the cars out. And once they paved the way, they then ripped off seven cars in a matter of minutes. The owner claims all the cars you see leaving his lot is downright costly. It's a big setback because that's like around $100,000 in cars. The crooks somehow managed to figure out where the owner stored the car keys. And despite having more than a dozen cameras and the security system, this still happened. We do have an alarm, but I don't think it worked. Because the alarm it would have been set off. They would have called my dad. But his father did not learn about the heist until he arrived the next morning. You can see the thieves damaged many of the vehicles in the process. They only recovered two, including this Cadillac found down the street with a broken wheel axle. It's a huge loss, but the family-owned business plans to stick around and most definitely increase security. We're going to try to make fences. We're going to try to get a better door. And they're hoping that this will not happen again. I know you're probably wondering, is this some type of inside job? According to the family and the owners of the company, they only hire family members. So it's still unclear exactly how these thieves knew exactly where they stored the keys throughout that building. Reporting outside DPD headquarters, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Yeah, that's a pretty bold gang. All right, thank you, Jermont.